มวยไทยคือชีวิต You may activate the service for a charge. Hello, everybody. This is Eric Rivera from Muay Thai is Life, and this is Muay Talk interviews with Muay Thai's champions. Today we have a very special guest. It is Kai Hollenbeck out of California. Kai Hollenbeck is currently the WBC Muay Thai World Champion, interim world champion, the WCK World Muay Thai Champion at 75 kilograms, and the WCK World Muay Thai Champion at 72 kilograms as well. ISK Light Heavyweight North American Champion. USMF welterweight world champion, and he currently is enjoying a record of 25 wins and zero losses. So after that long intro, Kai, how are you doing? How's everything going? I'm <laughs> doing well, man. Everything's going good. All right, great, man. So just uh, for a little background for some of the uh, our, our listeners that might be a little bit newer to the sport, because uh, we're you know we're trying to attract all the new people to to Muay Thai. Talk to us a little bit uh, about uh, where exactly you train uh, your gym, and uh, you know just a little background on yourself. Okay, um, I train at it's called World Team USA. It's in San Francisco, um, and uh, I've been training for since I was about 15 years old at the, that same gym. And my uh, instructor is Krusan Pipsitam. It's from the same gym uh, as some other fighters, notable fighters. Uh, Mike Manningquill is uh, another fighter from from that gym. Mm-hmm. Um, some fighters that used to come out of there was uh, BB uh, Excelsior or BB Esler. Uh, a couple of really good guys and. Um, Yeah, it's a really good place for me to train. I'm, I'm, uh, it's been helping me uh, since I started. So great. All right. So so you're training out of um, you're training out of San Francisco, and uh, you know you've been very very active in the Muay Thai scene as of late. Uh, you're considered basically it's you and a couple of other guys, uh, Kevin Ross, Joe Schilling, that you guys are pretty much right now the cream of the crop of American Muay Thai. And um, you're actually representing right now, you know, doing really well. You're fighting for the Muay Thai Premier League. Uh, you fought just this past weekend, October 8th, in Padova, Italy, for the MPL. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Muay Thai Premier League is, you know, actually, it basically has some of the top people in the sport, anywhere from Liam Harrison, Boakal Porpramu, Yatsen Klai, Johan Lidon. I mean, every big name you can think of. And Kai Hollenbeck is at, sitting there at the top as well with those guys. So... Tell me something, Kai. How does it feel to be in this group with all these big name fighters uh, in, in in the same tournament with them and being called, you know, called up to to you know represent USA and, and take the plate against all these big guys? It uh, feels great, man. Um, I'm I'm happy I can rep, uh, represent the US uh, and do it effectively. Uh, this past this past win really uh, was a boost to to uh, the name of my, for myself and. Uh, For U.S. Muay Thai in general, I mean, I'm just happy to uh, to be able to. The guys like me and Joe and and Kevin are all trying to uh, show the world that Muay Thai is is making its way here in in the U.S. and uh, that the fighters here are no are, are nothing to scoff at anymore. We're definitely uh, just as just as capable of of putting someone out as anybody else. Yeah, and you're definitely showing that, especially uh, you know, moving on to our next question. You know, just to talk to you, talk us a little bit about the. Uh, The fight with Jordan Watson. I mean, Jordan Watson is a, a really, really tough fighter out of the UK. Has fought, has been in the ring with guys like Boakow, Yadsen Klai. Is currently, you know, on the Challenger Muay Thai, which is the, the reality series going on in Asia. And uh, you know, he's a tough guy. You came in, and and uh, I think something that's kind of been the norm for for you as of late is always coming in kind of as the underdog, and then you always come out on top and surprise everybody. Or, you know, I guess people sometimes take you lightly. So. Tell me, uh, what was the experience fighting a big name like Jordan and you know coming out on top? I mean, how what did he uh, what did he have during the fight? How did the fight go? And talk to us a little bit more about it. The fight went well. Um, there's there's all that controversy. Uh, I mean, everybody from everybody has their favorites. Uh, wants their favorite to really win. So when they don't, they uh, they have to come up with a reason why. Um, the fight was good, man. We both it was a back and forth fight. Uh, I ended up dropping him in the in the first round. Um, he with a spinning back fist hit him right on the back of the ear. Um, there was, they were saying that he wasn't down long enough for it to be an eight count. But if you're on two feet and you collapse, and then jump, even if you jump right back up, it's still you still got knocked down. Like you still were out for a second. Even if it's a flash, you're still out. Mm-hmm. But um, and then uh, then the back and forth. Uh, I used mostly uh, a lot of hands. He was uh, a lot of uh, roundhouses to the midsection. Um, a lot of teeps on my, a lot of push kicks on my side. Um, It was a it was a really good fight. All in all, uh, I, we were both happy with it afterwards, talking to each other in the ring and and 
happy we could put on a good show for them. And I ended up coming out with the the decision. Some of the some of the scoring was a little funny to me. One of them had a I think I, I walked away with the majority decision. One of the one of the judges saw it uh, even at twenty eight twenty eight. And then uh, one judge saw 20, 25 to 30, which I didn't, that doesn't make sense to me. But then, and the other one was 26 to 30. So, um, I mean, it, it's, I, I don't, I don't control the judges. I don't control the refs. I just control the fight that I can do. And, and I try to put on the best show possible. And I feel like I did that. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's, that's one of the criticisms coming out. I mean, we, we, you know, we know some of the guys out of Bad Company, and uh, I was actually watching it um, on a. I was watching. I was chatting on the forum when I was trying to watch the video online. I was chatting on a forum that was full of Bad Company guys, and you know they were all talking about it. And uh, you know, definitely one thing that that I try to do is as as being part of this Muay Thai media that you can call it. I guess that we're surging here now in the states. What we're trying to do is, you know, I try to stay as objective as possible. And 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 the thing is, I haven't really. Um, gotten a chance to look at the whole fight to see you know exactly what happened and everything so i don't like to make any comments on that t- type of stuff mm-hmm. and um you know I, I i see you know this moves on on to my next question because um i guess there's a lot of people that i mean let's to be honest with you i mean your style is is i think gives a lot of traditional muay thai guys fits because it's uh it's it's an unorthodox style you are you know you you move a lot. Your movement is very, I guess, in a lot of senses, very unorthodox. It's hard to find you. You, you know, you throw um, strikes from a lot of different angles. Um, some of the criticisms that you know I've heard, and you know, other people I've talked about, is you know, sometimes they criticize you for maybe not being a, you know, com- I guess not being a traditional Muay Thai guy, and then you know. But then again, at the end, uh, what I would say is, you know, you are getting you're getting the job done. You know what I mean? That's which is, you know, ultimately the W. You're getting the W, and you're fighting. So when you're fighting, so besides the criticism on that style, I mean, I don't want you to go too much into that. I don't want to go too much into negativity about it. But how would you describe? What do you think it is that? How would you describe your style? Is this something that you just try to do differently, or is it something that you just feel com- more comfortable doing? How would you just? Why do you think that so many guys are having trouble with it? Um. I think it's it's uh it comes down to the the traditional Thai style is that let's stand in front of each other and you kick me I kick you you punch me I punch you and we see who falls first and that's never been like I don't like getting punched it's not my it's not something I enjoy so I'm not gonna stand there and let people punch me I'm gonna move I'm gonna I like to come in and out in and out move around and uh, whether it's uh whether it's due to the the other training that I have uh, or anything like that, like the other sports that I do, to that assist me in that, but I just don't. I never saw the uh, the benefit of standing in front of somebody and letting them letting them hit you, and uh, not trying to not trying to be elusive. Like being a, being an elusive fighter means that I can continue to fight back to back to back to back fights without stopping because of those those injuries and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, the the traditional style is is uh, is good, but there's I mean people bre- people make hybrid fight uh, hybrid styles all the time, and I, I think mine's just a just one of those styles that just it's not it's not normal, but it doesn't mean it's not effective or it's not a uh, it doesn't have the same kind of clout as a normal traditional Muay Thai stance. Sure, I mean and no, that's uh you know that's one thing that uh, I guess has been talked about a lot, but I. But you know, I you know congratulate you for you know, always getting things done. I mean, you step into these fights with a lot of guys, basically saying this is going to be the toughest test. I mean, uh, we've heard it all the time. You know, we heard it all the time, and and we've written it on Muay Thai's life. You know, it's going to be the toughest test for you when you fought Luisilla Colosa, when you fought Simon Chu, now when you fought Jordan Watson, and then moving on. I mean, your upcoming fight uh, is on November sixth, is it? I believe November sixth. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be fighting in The Hague in the Netherlands, and you're going to be fighting Nikki Holtzkin. Um, so talk to us a little bit. I mean, Nikki Holtzkin. I mean, his style. You're going to. Is this going to be your first time fighting somebody, which is going to have the instead of having that traditionally Thai style, he's going to come at you with a very very Dutch style, which is a lot more boxing centric. I mean, is that the first time you're going to face somebody like that? Um, no, uh, I fought. Uh, Vusi Colossus is a really, really hands heavy guy. Um, Nikki's, Nikki's a tough kid, man. Or a tough kid. He's, he's older than me, but he's a tough dude. Um, I've watched him fight, I've watched him fight for a long time. He's, uh, he's actually been one of the people I, I, I really respect as a fighter. He's, uh, he's tricky. He does a lot of, a lot of things that, he's just a little unorthodox, kind of like me, and I kind of like that. Um, he has those spinning back kicks that he does. He does, uh, those spinning heel kicks, and, uh, 
likes to dig to the body. And yeah, he's not. I mean, if you if you saw him, you'd think more kickboxing, not less uh, less Muay Thai. But um, that doesn't mean he doesn't get the job done. You know what I mean? He's still one of the top people in the world. He's fought Bull Cow. He's fought uh, Andy Hug. He's fought or not Andy Hug, but uh, Andy Sauer. He's mm-hmm. fought, I mean, he's he's a monster. So I'm I'm super excited to fight him. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough fighting him in in Holland because it's all it's not hometown. But um, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more uh, more excited to to take the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, and you actually touched on my my I guess my next question. I mean, the fact that number one, yeah, Nikki Holtzkin is one of the toughest guys. He's actually you know one of my favorite fighters. I I mean, I love the Thai boxing style. I train as well, and but I also love you know the one thing that I like a lot has always been the Dutch style. Um, I guess particularly I'm a heavyweight, so particularly when I fight a lot more times it's it's a lot more k1 influenced because of that seems to be more of the availability for me <laughs> at that weight but yeah. um you know he's definitely one of the top guys and he he's got a lot he's i think in this fight uh what i'm excited to see in this fight with you and him is is exactly as you said i think yeah, a lot of times styles make fights uh i think you know you've proved that your style is very very good very very tough at isolating a lot of the thai guys it's going to be, I guess it's going to be a new thing to see how it's going to work out with a guy who's not only Dutch style, but maybe just as an orthodox as you. I think that's going to be a really tough fight. Um, and I think it's going to be a really good one. Uh, I, w- I don't want to say it's going to be, you know, your stiffest test because that's always been ev- what everybody says. <laughs> but, um, I think I it's, it, man, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah, one yeah tough, it's going to be a tough one, one man. But you know what it is, man, is that lately, um, Lately, I try not to bet against you, man. <laughs> I always think it's, uh, I always think you're going against like really tough guys, and then you're always, you know, kind of doing really, really well against them. Um, yeah. So besides that, I mean, fighting on his home turf and fighting this style, like we were talking about, does that change up your your training regimen? I mean, you don't have a lot of time to get ready for him as much, but does that change up your regimen a little bit, or you just stick into the, your game plan? Yep. Uh, I've always, I've always been a, a big. Uh... Uh, big enthusi- uh, what would it be? A big uh, promoter of uh, just sticking to your style because when you try and change your style in order to, to to adapt to somebody else, then you're doing something that you're not used to, and it's it's not gonna it's not gonna change. It's not gonna make it better for you. You should just stick to what you're good at and and figure out a way to make it work against the person you're fighting. So I'm 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 probably gonna stick to the same same method to, that I've been using the whole time, and. Uh, yeah, figure out little little spots where I can use my my style. Figure out, just try and break down, uh, find weaknesses in his game, and and use my my uh, strengths in my game to help exploit those. Sure, and and another thing is, I mean, Nikki uh, is somebody who's been fighting a lot in in you know modified Muay Thai or, or K1 rules. Um, you know, you think the elbows are gonna make a big difference for you in this fight? I mean, um. It's hard to say. I thought uh, I thought my elbows were going to be my advantage against Simon Chu, and uh, I definitely that definitely didn't work out the way I thought it was. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it went the other way around on that one. Was man. The other, exactly. So uh, I'm I'm not banking on any technique being the one that's going to get it done. I'm just hoping that uh, at the end of the fight, all the techniques put together is going to be enough to be be the victory. All right, man. So um, you know, I guess last question. You know, to sum it all up, uh, for for all you guys that are listening out there, besides being a very accomplished Muay Thai fighter, uh, you know, with a with an undefeated record right now in Muay Thai, Kai also fights in MMA. He's got currently a six and one record in professional MMA. And you know, Kai, I guess uh, you know, I think a lot of times when when people, I guess, criticize you a little bit about your style, I, you know, I always. Uh, I think you know that your style trans. The reason it is the way it is is because you also train a lot of MMA, and your MMA, you know, in MMA you don't have the benefit of kind of sitting in the pocket and waiting for, you know, to exchange strikes. So you got to be able to move uh, a lot more. And that's kind of why I think it translates into your style. But uh, talking about that, I mean, are you, are you still very active in MMA or since you've been doing so well in Muay Thai, are you kind of paying a little bit more attention to your Muay Thai? And, you know, how does, how do you balance it all out? You know, how do you balance both sports? Cause they are, Muay Thai is part of MMA, but they are inherently different sports. Yeah. Um, definitely. Um, I uh lately I haven't actually fought Muay Thai or MMA in over a over a year, almost over a, like a year and a half. Um, I still I still train uh, jujitsu and wrestling and all that stuff because I feel like it's uh, all those things translate over into into Muay Thai, like uh, the jujitsu part, the clenching and all that stuff. And Muay Thai is uh, is is helped out by the jujitsu and all that stuff. So uh, I like to I mean I train. I train everything pretty much every day, five days a week for, uh, or six days a week for Muay Thai, five days a week for Jiu Jitsu. 
Um, I just try and, uh, I'm trying, I try to just, yeah, I guess, uh, just try and stay as, as well balanced as I can. Lately, uh, the focus has been Muay Thai, so, uh, that's been a little bit more predominant in my training, but, uh, yeah, I, I never, uh, I never stopped doing jujitsu and, uh, MMA is probably going to be somewhere down the line again. I'll probably have to jump back into it and, and just continue to do that and try and jump back and forth if I can. But, uh, um, yeah, uh, I just, I, uh, I think that, yeah, that's, that's probably a good assessment that the, uh, the MMA is, is, uh, translating over into the, the, the Muay Thai. Maybe that's, yeah, that could be the reason that everyone seems to be getting upset. <laughs> All right. Well, either way, Kai, I mean, you're doing a great job and you're, you're, you're really showcasing Muay Thai for the U.S. very, very well. Um, no matter how you cut it, you're still going out there and putting it all on the line. And so, uh, you know, definitely wish you the best of luck. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, you know, I'm really, really, uh, looking forward to this fight with Nikki Holtzkin. And, uh, you know, we wish you the best of luck here from Muay Thai's life and we thank you for speaking with us today, man. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it.